In this video, I will show you how to use the Elegant Themes Divi Layout Packs to make a professional website fast and cheap or even free, even if you are a rank amateur. This is the site we're going to make in about 10 minutes. So let's start with a little bit of history. Elegant Themes Divi theme launched in 2013 and the Page Builder in 2014. Now the Divi Page Builder is a powerful drag and drop page builder. It was one of the first ones and is still one of the most powerful ones. It replaces the standard WordPress Gutenberg editor, but you can still use Guten Gutenberg if you want on any given page. In early 2018, Elegant Themes released the 140 Divi layout packs, and now there are almost a thousand of them. And this means a tremendous choice of professionally designed layouts that you can customize out of the box for your site. Each layout pack comes with six or seven page templates. Um, the images are also supplied and are redistributable, but typically you will need to find your own images and swap them in. And the impact of this is that you can get a very impressive site by applying one of the thousand layouts to your homepage and customizing it, which is what we're going to do in this demo. So this is the site we are going to make. This is my site. So it's got a logo here. It's got a full width header with a few buttons. Then it's got a two column layout photo on the right. Then it's got and a couple more buttons and it's got a more information section with an opt in and finally a, a blog module. It's called as you'll see in a moment and a, a footer section. So we're going to make this home page from a Divi pre-made layout, which we are going to customize. And two things before we begin. Uh, first to notice that the sub pages are underlined pages. For instance, let's go to the authentic dating courses are just standard Divi pages with very little or no customization. So this is a standard uh, three quarter plus one quarter two column layout. On top here we have a call to action and then we just have a standard text module here. And if we look at the about page, for instance, this is even more simple. This is just a standard uh, Gutenberg layout. In other words, it's a standard WordPress page with a sidebar and a, um, a text module. We call it, uh, I like to use the classic Gutenberg module. So you see, it's all very simple. What, what makes this site look professional is the home page. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to do this. So what I've done here is I've created a new site. I've used the WordPress uh, export import function to import all my posts and menus. I've applied the menu at the top to the uh, widget area in Divi and I've uh, loaded the logo. That's all I've done so far. Uh, in addition to installing Divi theme, of course. So Divi has two page builders or editors, the so-called visual editor or the new Divi experience and the old block style editor. The visual editor is great for making edits in place, but it's not so great for composing your page sometimes. So the first thing I want to do is I want to disable the visual editor as a default setting. And this is done. Um, I want to enable Divi on post types. That's correct. And I want to dis uh, enable the classic editor and disable the latest TV experience. So this is already done here. And this you lose nothing here because you, you can still access the visual editor on demand. And the next step is easy peasy. We're just going to add a new page. We're going to use the Divi Builder. So this is the, the standard block editor, by the way. And if we wanted to do the build, the visual, we'd build on the front end. So we're just going to load a layout here. Now you see this 946 total, total layouts to access this. You're going to have a licensed version and you know, cost you like $80, $90 a year, but you don't necessarily have to renew it every year. So that's the cost. There's also a, a number of free layout packs that you can download as well, but I'm going to use the ones that come with because it's really so easy and fun. So we're actually going to start with this. Let's have a look at this restaurant layout and it comes with various pages and I want to look at uh, the uh, the home page. You know, I kind of like this because really what I need is a full width header with a background and two buttons and uh, in a section below. So this is the one um, I'm going to use. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and click on use this layout. It does uh, require an activation. So I'm going to do that. And uh, while it's taking uh, doing this, which may take a minute or two, just remember that it's loading the layout for the one page. It's not sort of a global theme or template change, uh, which which as a reminder is our strategy is to build the home page using this layout pack, which can be quickly done while our uh, sub pages can just use it as a standard layout. OK, so it's done. Yippee. And 
So this is the block editor, of course. So we're going to name the page for SEO purposes. And then we're going to save or publish. You'd be wise to frequently save your work because it's easy to make mistakes here. And just going to build on the front end. So it, you know, it takes a, it takes a half minute to do this when you when you first go into it. And here we are in the so-called visual editor. So I'm not going to do a full tutorial on using either the visual editor or the block editor because this is just a very quick start video to show you how it's done. However, I, I will tell you there's a hierarchy here, which is the section contains a column, contains a module. Now, this is a full width section, so there's no columns in it. There's only one column. But we can move any of the sections by drag drop here. We can edit, modify any of the sections with a gear button. We can make a copy. We can revert or fast forward, and we can delete. So the first thing I'm going to do is delete all the unnecessary sections. We're going to keep that top one. We're going to keep the um, bottom, this two, and we're going to delete everything else here. So let's delete that restaurant. We're not doing a restaurant here. Let's delete that. Let's delete the quotes. And let's delete the final tutorial. OK, so we only have two sections now. OK, so remember to save. This is done from here. And the beauty and power of the visual editor is you can actually edit text directly here. And this is really so cool. So basically, I'm just going to paste in the title from uh, off screen. And I'm going to paste in the subtitle from off screen. And for editing these buttons here, I actually have to go into the module. So that's the gears button on the module. Now, I'm not actually sure how this works internally. I believe that it's hard coded in, uh, this is a custom PHP code in the module, because you see the title and the, and the button text, so forth, all have uh, entry fields. So I'm going to go ahead and, and change those to entry fields as well. Uh, we wanted to say read more and free introduction. So that's done. And then you'd also have to insert the links to these sections in the section below. Now, sometimes it can be hard to find the background image, because the background image could be also um, on the section. But I believe in here, OK, bingo. And then we're just going to swap out that image with my image, which I believe it is, yeah, that's it right there. And then I'll upload an image. And confirm, bingo, first section done. OK, we are kicking ass here. And let's start working on the second section. Now, you could exit Visual Builder, remember, and activate the block editor and do this in the block editor. But we're on a roll here, so let's keep on going. I'm going to paste in the title of this section. And then I'm going to paste in the text in that first column. OK, it's done. And I'm going to swap out this image here. That's the one there. And let's save this. And I'm going to finish this up in the block editor. So I'm going to exit Visual Builder. And I'm going to edit the page. OK, so here we are in the block editor. And this is uh, the section we've been working on. And you see in the column, in the first column, there's there's four modules. There's a text, a divider, a text, and a text. I think um, the only one that we want is the final text. So we're going to click on Edit, and that's correct. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to delete the, the first three. We don't need a divider there. Oh, no, wait. The first is the title. So we do need the title, but I don't need, you know what, let me just uh, let me just build on the front end. It might be a little easier here. I'm a little scared of deleting things on the front end that I don't know what they are. OK, so there's there's the module. There's the, OK, we don't, that's, that's one of the texts we don't need. And um, all right, that looks like right. So let's go back. OK, so it does look like we don't need that divider. So let's del just delete that. Now, the other thing I want to do is I want to change the column layout from a 50-50 because um, the image is a little bit too big. So this is done from this little button here, like the column layout. Rather than a half-half, we're going to change it into um, 2 thirds, 1 third. Easy peasy. Update, and it's going to look like this. OK, so that's about right. But I do notice a 100 pixel divider. So I'm going to try and, yeah, let's make that uh, increase that. There you go. All right. OK, so that's about right. Now I'm going to add two more buttons here. I'm not going to sh 
show you everything, but I'll just quickly how it's done. This is the kind of thing that you're going to want to do in the um, block editor. It's easier. So black in the back in the block editor, I would just add a row and let's make it a half half row. And then I would add a button in the first column and customize it. And uh, I think I, I wanted to say yeah, read more or blah, blah, blah. And the same thing for here. You'd add another button and publish it. Okay. I'm going to do that off screen. All right. So here's what it looks like. There's the um, two buttons. Um, that's about right. Um, I think I want to maybe move those buttons up a little bit like that. Yep. That's about right. And I want to also edit these buttons. We're going to make them a little bit more colorful here and also center them. You know, for that, I go into the design tab and then pull down the button and we're going to use custom cells per button and the text color is going to be white and the background color is going to be this um, brownish color here. And here's what it's going to look like. I did the other one off uh, screen. So basically we are done here. You know, this is the prettiest website I've ever made in five minutes. So hopefully you're catching my drift here. Um, and I'm just going to show you one thing. We're going to customize the font size in the header and the maximum logo size. And this is going to be done from the theme customizer. You can do it from Dimi theme customizer. That would be under header and navigation, primary menu bar. So we're going to increase the logo max height to give it a full size logo. Um, that's about 50 by 250. And you can't really see the uh, font size on here. The screen is too small. Let me bring it down a, a notch. Okay, I brought my browser res resolution down a notch so we can because um, we could see the, the the menu bar here, and I just want to increase the text size slightly. Okay, not a lot of room, but I also want to change the the uh, default navigation bar font to Ubuntu is one that um, a lot of their demos have. Okay, there we got it. So publish that. And now I've simply applied this new page to the WordPress home page, uh, which of course is the, in the uh, WordPress settings reading menu. And there we have it. I think we could probably increase the menu size, font size a little bit more, but it, it looks pretty good. Now by way of comparison, I want to look at WP Academy, which is built using the same technique, uh, although um, slightly more complex. This is about uh, three or four hours of work and much of that was just researching graphics and applying them. So this has also come from a DV template. All right. So forth. So that's basically my tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And as a reminder, uh, we're happy to provide any kind of design or customization services for you. Just go to WPAcademy.com, click on the services menu, and you'll see a whole palette uh, of what we do. It, you know, it might actually be much um, faster and more economical for you to let us do it rather than do it yourself. All right. Till next time.